Hello everybody, welcome back to another Escape from Tarkov video. Today we are covering Pastilli's armor tier list. I didn't agree with almost any of it, so we're kind of fixing it up. Yes, I know it's his armor tier list, it's how he views armor being useful, but this is just something I have to address because I just personally think it's horrible uh, in a lot of dimensions and I'd like to show you mine. So let's dive into it. All right, so here we have Pistilli's armor tier list, and we're going to be making changes on his list. Okay, first thing right away that we're going to change is the TV-110. That is going up to S tier. That is the best level 4 armor in the entire game. Uh, his justification for using the M1 rig was because it had a lot of space. Uh, the TV-110 and the M1 rig cost the same. The TV-110 is actually a lot more spacious than the m1 rig so if you are doing no backpack extracts you're gonna want to go with the tv 110 the m1 does repair well blah 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 same with the tv 110 all right next one i gotta change is the zuck 3 yes it is an a tier level 3 armor that is all i use early wipe because it's so cheap you're always gonna get it back in insurance because nobody picks it up for some reason and even now if you're starting late wipe you can buy this for about 25k on the market and repair it for another about 5k to make it a total cost of about 30k to be running a level 3 armor and you're going to get it back in insurance all the time and it's going to protect you against pretty much just scabs but it's the perfect armor to do just that so for that reason i'm keeping it as b tier armor next the untar armor absolutely useless uh slows your movement speed down so much just a horrible level 3 armor you don't want to be using that at all Next, I'm going to do is now lower the trooper armor. I will use trooper armors. You'll see me on stream using trooper armors. Um, but the only time I do use them is if I have them. And I just need a quick armor to run. Next, the Karund. I'm sorry. But Karund, you do not belong in A tier armor. Yes, you can get it back in insurance. Very, very often. Oh, no, no. Sorry, this is B tier. Sorry, you get it back in insurance very often. But... The cost isn't justified due to the fact that the Karun can break in like two to three bullets if it's good ammo. Actually, the Gen 4 high mobility does cost a little bit more. Uh, but if I find one, I'd much rather be using one of these bad boys. Next, the 6B3TM. I move this up to A tier because it is such a good level 4 armor. You can get it as soon as you hit level 2 Ragman. Which is what, like about level 15 if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, level 2 Ragman, boom, right there. You're running basically an A-tier list armor. Uh, it covers the storax, the thorax and the stomach. I put thorax and stomach together to make storax. <laughs> so again, this is a good level 4 armor to be running as soon as you get it. It's still very cheap. It's 50k and it does the job. If you just need something to protect yourself against scavs and you have level 2 Ragman... Uh, Buy one of these over a Zuck 3 any day. Buy one of those. And we will be moving up the Tactic, actually. The Tactic is level 5 armor. It's pretty decent. If I have one, I'll wear it. I'll use it. Doesn't mean I'll go out of my way to buy one, but it is still a A tier armor. Okay, so for another change down here, Pack of Armor, it's really only useful very early wipe. But pack of armor, the problem with it is it's only level 2 class. It's only going to stop PST GZH. It's only going to stop 545 PS. It's going to stop calibers like that that aren't really good <laughs> at all. That's like a scav protection very early wipe. And if you have flea market, you're better off just buying yourself a Zuck 3 for 50,000 or for, for th about 30 to 40,000 rubles. You're better off doing that. Next, we have the 62B flora pattern, whatever the heck it is. Who cares? Don't use it. All right, next we're going to go into the Karasa. It's made of combined materials. Level 3 armor. I believe it covers the thorax and the stomach. Uh, it's decent little armor if you can pick it up in the early wipe. Uh, but after that, it's pretty useless. Gets destroyed pretty easily and doesn't repair very well at all. Uh, so you don't really want to be running that sheet. Uh, the 6B23 armor steel level 3 rig will... Or armor, sorry. Will go down there along with the M2... Next up, we're gonna bring, we're gonna we're gonna do a little swapping here. So here's the M2 rig. It's actually a little decent uh, rig. I'll use it if I have it. 
So anyway, uh, moving the M2 rig up and moving the Giselle down. The Giselle breaks in a few bullets, much worse than a Corund. I would rather be wearing a Corund, even though the Corund carries a movement penalty. I would still much rather wear the Corund. The repairability is horrible. So why even bother wearing a Giselle, honestly? Not worth your time. Gen 4 assault kit. Um, yeah, I guess if you're going factory, but that's really the only use case it has. Unfortunately, it covers arms, which you don't really need arm protection. It's just kind of annoying. And it's breaking into the, the hit points of your armor and taking away from shots that could vitally protect you in the thorax or even stomach being wasted on arms. The next armor I want to talk about very quickly is the Zuck 6A. It's ceramic. It's level 6. It's decent armor. But the problem is it's going to break in a few bullets. Yes, you can find these for decently cheap. But at that point, I'd rather just buy a killer armor and be running class 5 with more hit points. Or with with uh, less chance to break from around hitting it. And yeah, I'd just rather be wearing killer armor, to be honest, over a ceramic level 6. If I'm going level 6, I'm of course wearing a slicker hex grid. Um, what else do we got? Killer armor... You, you, so what you can kind of expect from me is I wear usually level B and up. It's very rare that I dip into the level C armors unless I have it. Uh, it's pretty much B to S is what I use. And that's about it. Everything else I just kind of sleep on. It's it's whatever to me. It's just armor. So guys, I made some changes to Pastilles armor tier list. Guys, if there is anything on this list that you don't agree with, please let me know in the comments section and give me a little explanation why let's try to have fun in the comments let's try to keep it decent uh let's not attack people but anyway these are what i go with with my arm material list remember this is my arm material list this is not everybody's arm material list this is mine anyway anyway guys thank you so much for making it to the end of the video uh if you did enjoy the video be sure to like and subscribe also leave a comment for the algorithm and my name is diego i'm the whitest diego ever meet Thank you for watching.